you. Um, when you restored your device uh, using iTunes, or rather updating using iTunes, or restored using the reset all settings on a jailbroken device, which you should never do. Um, this is for Windows. I'm on my Mac, but I'm using a remote Windows PC uh, to uh, get the Windows version out. So what I'm going to do is you are going to go to these two websites, 99.com and github.com slash Kiro Air D Electra. I'll have both of these links in the description so you want to go back looking for them. Basically, 99 is a program that allows you to install two different or several different programs at once. Um, it downloads and installs them for you. Uh, so what this is going to allow you to do is download FileZilla and Putty at the same time. The reason why I recommend FileZilla instead of a uh, one SCP, you know, I have one SCP installed and our Cyberduck is because it's a lot better and a lot easier to use. Once you guys have downloaded that installed them, download this file using the download link. I've already got it downloaded so I don't need it. Um, it says it only works for 11.0.1, 11.0 to 11.1.2, but it actually works on the latest Electra. So once you guys get that downloaded, um, you need to go on your iOS device, um, and I'm going to do that right now. And you need to go to settings, Wi-Fi, and hit the I, uh, and find out your IP address. My IP address is 192.168.1.2. So from there, you will want to open up FileZilla, which I've already done. And you want to open up Putty. And then your host will be your IP address. So whatever your prefix IP address is. Um, user is always root. Password is Alpine unless you changed it. Port is 22. And hit OK. And then navigate on the remote to the slash the electro directory. And from there, you want to go on your desktop here and extract the D Electro Master. I've already done it. And navigate through your folders to get to that. And copy this file over to this directory and it's transferred. So from there, you can minimize this out and then SSH into it, so enter the same IP address and enter the same port, hit open, login as root, password should be Alpine unless you changed it, and then you are in. So you can clear it out and you want to change the directory to Electra I'm going to clear it again. I'm going to add ls and then show you that it's there. I'm also going to run the uname a show you that I am jailbroken with the latest version. And uh, from there, I'm going to clear, or, sorry, that's Windows, my bad. Clear the screen. And uh, we are going to ch mode 0, 0. 755 five, unjailbreak uh, sh. Now you want to list the directories again. It's still there. Then what you want to do is run the sh unjailbreak uh, sh. I am going to open the screen recording on my device. I'm going to navigate over to my jailbreak folder. City is still there. We'll run the command and it's going to tell you. It's only been tested it and might kill your jailbreak, assuming that uh, you have installed it, jailbreaks or modified the blah, 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 blah. And then hit enter to continue. And it's going to kill Cydia, it's going to remove all the files, it's going to run you on cache, and it's going to reboot your device. And once it's done doing that, your SSH clients um, will give you an error. Otherwise, it's going to reboot your device. 
and there we go. And now you are on Joe Broken. And you just gotta wait. Now my device is back up. I am going to log in, or rather, type the passcode. And then Cydia. As you can see, Cydia is gone. So what do you do now? You go into airplane mode, keep Wi-Fi on. You want to go into Electra. Make sure you have the N uh, MPTCP exploit um, installed instead of the VFS one because this one works better. Um, you want to hit the jailbreak button and re jailbreak your device. If it fails, you'll have to reboot your phone. Um, it should work on the first try. Okay, it's going to install Cydia, then it will reboot your phone, and then you'll have Cydia again once it, it's done. Yeah, this is boring watching this screen not do nothing. Um, sorry about the unprofessionalness. And then It'll go through the jailbreaking process. I've done this like four times already just to see how well it works. It works great every time. Only thing is, you want to refresh your sources. Always refresh your sources every time you do this jailbreak. Um, or packages will not be loaded properly. <clears throat> and now that's jailbroken. So I'm waiting for it to come up. All right, and we are jailbroken again. And I'm going to go to Cydia. You want to go to sources and refresh manually. And that should allow you to install stuff just fine. So what you want to do is install a package. So I'm going to install my tweak called Color My CC Modules, and it found all the frameworks it needs, and hit confirm and see if it installs. If it installs, then you did it correctly, and you won't have to worry about um, the DPKG underscore locked error. I want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, please subscribe, subscribe, and have a great day. Sorry, I rambled on a lot. Got off work and really tired. It's 12 o'clock in the morning, so. Alright, uh, you guys have a good day.